the second of four videos where I will explain all the recent changes to LMIs and the temporary foreign worker program. Since September 26, 2024, the government of Canada no longer processes labor market impact assessments for the low wage stream in areas with an unemployment rate of 6% or higher. Exceptions apply for jobs in food security sectors, positions in construction, food manufacturing, nursing, and healthcare aiming to support local workers while still addressing essential industry needs. Employees can now hire a maximum of 10% of their total workforce through the temporary foreign worker program down from the previous limits, specifically for the low wage stream. Exceptions apply for seasonal and non-seasonal jobs in food security, of course, so similar positions and healthcare and construction. Additionally, the maximum duration for employment for low wage stream workers has been reduced from two years to one year. Starting November 8, 2024, the minimum hourly wage for workers entering Canada through the high wage stream will rise by 20% above the current median for their province or territory. This change increases the existing threshold by $5 to $8 per hour depending on the region. In Ontario, the median hourly wage for a high wage bracket is $28.39. After the upcoming change, employers will need to pay at least $34.07 per hour. This change is expected to impact around 34,000 workers in the LMI high wage stream. While current work permits won't be affected, future renewals will be. According to data from IRCC, 183,820 temporary foreign worker permits were issued in 2023, a significant an increase from 90,000 in 2019. To determine whether to apply under the high wage or low wage stream for an LMIA, look at the wage you're offering. Each stream has different rules. If the wage is at or above the provincial or territorial median hourly wage, for example, in Ontario, it's currently $20.39 for the high wage bracket, you need to apply under the high wage stream. After the upcoming change, this means employers must pay at least $34.07 per hour. If the wage is below the provincial or territorial median hourly wage, which is less than $28.39 in Ontario, you'll apply under the low wage stream. But currently, the low wage stream has a refusal to process for applications in regions where the unemployment rate is more than 6%. So you will have to check if you are eligible to apply under the low wage stream based on your location and based on the industry that your business is in. For more information on this topic, go to part three.